Today, we are going to be customizing a cat. An adorable little kitty that will be part of a series that is going to be on while Clans is developing. And um, that's basically what I heard from the director. So, here she is right now. So, this is a little kitty. I don't know what I have against her, but I just... Wow. Yeah. I don't know what's up with her, but I really do feel like she um, she would be perfect with, like, a cape, if I can just get it on. Yeah, see? A cute little cape. And a beautiful crown to go with it. Um, yay, crowny! So, I'm going to paint her kind of like an evil little girl kind of thing. Because the main series is going to be evolving around evil and magic and stuff. It's going to be amazing. But, um, yeah. Yay! So, I'm going to be customizing piece by piece. Um, so, basically, I'm first going to be customizing the cat, and then the cape, and then the crown. So, for the cat, I'm going to be using black paint. Um, as well as this acrylic paint. And I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of white for the white parts on her. And then the yellow is going to be black. So, let's get started. Before I paint, I am basically going to be watering down it so that I get a more of a um, shinier and smoother coat. This, I'm not sure if it actually works because, you know, it's black. But, you know what? I am doing it anyway. Yay. So, if this is your first customizing video you have seen on this channel, you know that I am a very boring person during customization times. So, I am basically going to be saying a few lines in between stuff, and, and then I am just going to just cut out the, the footage of me customizing yeah so <laughs> i don't know what else to say i will see you guys when i am done with the head of this cat we pretty much did the face right here and we are now waiting for it to dry so that we can do the body and then we're going to move on to the gray parts so yay 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 okay i'm just gonna go now so, she is now pretty much dry, almost, just a little bit wet around the ears. So, I am now going to move on to her body. And like I said, I am pretty boring while customizing because I literally don't talk at all. Which isn't good for entertainment. I am a very boring person. I'm surprised I even have 10 subscribers right now. That doesn't mean you should unsubscribe. But, but so I, I'm gonna be back when this body is black. So, <sighs> yay, pausing video things. Yeah, I have no idea what to say anymore. Okay, so her body is dry. Yay, she really good. Looks good on with white, but nonetheless, they're gonna be gray. Later on. Ooh. Oops. Yay! Fails. Hooray. So with the newer OPS, I actually enjoy customizing them so that their heads don't feel like rubber and, and their bodies don't feel like this plastic. So. It's good to be customizing these. Yeah. I, I recommend doing this if you actually like the OPS looks. I don't even know what I'm saying. Alright, cat's dry. Except for its armpit. How convenient. So this is a mixture that, that I'll be using. Type gray. Ignore the white spots. That's just color that I didn't decide. I decided not to mix in because, yeah. Yay. Okay, so... Let's paint the cat's white parts. Face first. And um, 
Yeah. I, I get pretty boring when painting. I know I've said this for like the 53rd time, but I just want to make it clear. <laughs> so, see you on the other side of the film, I, I guess? I don't know. Looks like, and since her paw was kind of close to the face, I go ahead and painted that too. But, um, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Oh, wait, I don't have to. Okay, never mind, Jack Cutting again. Yay. Um, see you later. <clears throat> I painted her white part, um, white parts gray, and all of her white parts are now gray. Yay! So, oh, and you heard a sneeze in the background. Yay! Okay, why am I saying yay all the time? I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe I should stop talking during these because these are seriously awkward. They are seriously awkward. So. Um, I am just going to leave this kitty to dry, and then when I have her second coat on, I will reveal the final product, non Mod Podge, Mod Podge, whatever. So, yeah. Okay, so here is the final product of the Kit Kat. Um, I, I did the detail of the ears and the nose without you. I am sorry, but, um... She's a bit shinier than I expected. I guess the Mod Podge is a little bit thick, but she's still cute. Yay! And now I'm going to be on to the cape, which I am just plainly going to paint black, and there's nothing interesting you can, you're going to see about this. So, jump cuts! Yay! Yay, KP's done. And while KP is drying, I'm going to move on to the crown, which the crown is going to be kind of interesting. So yeah. And, and by the way, I'm I'm using the same black for the cape. So I'm just gonna set this thing aside, and then we'll move on to the cape, um, cape crown. Okay. So for this crowny, the the things that I don't know is gonna be. Black. The, the same kind of black, everything. Black, black, and more black. What can be more evil than black? And if it focuses correctly, um, the, these outside parts right here, these things, the little thingy things, and like the pearls and, and the insides or whatever, is gonna be this beautiful sterling metallic thing. And the gems or, or the inside or the rest of the crown! The rest of the crown! Uh, I know the gems are going to be like this brick red thing. But I'm not sure if I'm going to include this beautiful rose gold. I want to include it, but I'm not sure how. And It's kind of brown, which doesn't really fit the theme of evil queen or, or evil princess or, or evil per... I don't even know what kind of evil she is, but... You know, it's just whatever, but I'm not sure if I'm going to include it, but I'm just going to keep it out for now and see if I will use it. So, yay, let's get to painting. So what I'm going to be doing is painting the inside first so that eventually when the inside dries or, or something like that, I don't know if it'll dry, but if it does, then I can use it to paint the frogs instead of painting the frogs and then waiting for it to dry so that I can do the inside. You get the point, right? So, let's get started, shall we? Bloop. 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 So, I am very unhappy with the silver. Um, I think it needs a second coat. And if the camera will focus right, you can actually see it. So... I'm just gonna do a second coat on the silver and then we'll work on the throng things. Yeah. Okay, so after much drying and repainting and paint splatters, uh, as you can see on the floor, um, we have come to the final product and here it is all put together and evilish. 
Dun dun dun. So this is the final product. She looks beautiful. And evil enough, I guess. Yay! So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this beautiful kitty. It was a lot of fun and a lot of hard hard work waiting around for paint and mosh to dry was very cons time consuming but you know what it's done and i love it thank you so much see you in the next video peace watch out <laughs> i hope to see you in the dungeon <sighs>